Welcome to week six of AFL Live. Well, blah, I mean week six of the Green Football Recap. I am Target Toad 9999 slash Kurt Warner's Rainbow Ring. This is once again that Nerf Ball. <laughs> that was a terrible throw. Uh, yes, I am outside in the beautiful Floridian hot summer. Yes, I did just call summer in Florida beautiful. And yes, this Tampa Bay storm. Let me put that right by my side. Tampa Bay storm are four and one. Wait, four, wait. Yeah, four and one. <laughs> Sorry, big other recording. Yeah, blah. Anyways, Tampa Bay storm are four and one. Last in their four and one was two thousand and one. That year, there were 19 teams in the Arena League. Now, sorry for my voice crack. Now, there are only five teams. Tampa Bay, who I just mentioned. Washington, who lost the Tampa Bay Storm. The Philadelphia Soul, who beat the Baltimore Brigade in a game we'll get to later, AK, which I'm just going to title my Arena Football Live rant. Uh, Baltimore Brigade, who, are, who, lost that, who lost the Soul. And the Cleveland Gladiators, who were on a bye last week. And next week, Baltimore will be on a bye. How about that? <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. As I was saying, Tampa Bay Storm won the game thanks to thanks to Joe Hills once again. The last three weeks, Joe Hills has gotten nine. Nine. Receiving touchdowns in three weeks. Joe Hills is back. Don't be worried about that slow start he had. And with those three touchdowns he got in this game against the Valor, he moves up. He increases his amazing Consecutive games with a receiving touchdown to 73. 73. Let that sink in. But he's 13 behind uh, all-time league leader in terms of that in terms of that record, Damien Harrell. And Mr. Harrell used to have every single league receiving record. Before a guy named T.T. Tauber came around and stole him all last year as a member of the Storm and now as a member of the Valor. He's, carry, he's trying to carry a receiver at 41 years old. I'm pretty sure there are coaches younger than that guy. And yet he's still the bet. I think three of the NFL's coaches are younger than T.T. T. T. Tolliver. I'm pretty sure they're, kid, they're players in the Arena League young enough, young enough to be his kid. <laughs> but T.T. T. Tolliver is awesome. Uh, even, even as a member of the Valor. Speaking of the Valor's from Connection, uh, nine players, including this year's coach for the Valor, played on last year's Tampa Bay Storm. Not a good sign, is it? I should have realized that one in my predictions of Valerie Soul for Arena Bowl. <laughs> oh, gosh. And Miss Kokinos, after saying, Bye, Tampa, I don't need you anymore. I'm going to coach the Valor back in week four last year. How do you feel about how do you feel about going back to Nolens for the Voodoo when you were coaching them back in 2013 and fi finished 3 and 13, 3 and 15, and 2015 for that matter? <laughs> and finished terrible little 3 and 15. Welcome back! Welcome back to the Valor! The Arena League! The bottom of the Arena League, Mr. Kokinos! Welcome to the cellar! Hope you like it! That's right, as the Valor fall to 1 and 3, they still can't score in the second half, then again, apparently no one can. Uh, although they scored fine today, but they still can't score when it matters. <laughs> Giving up a big fumble late to Tampa Bay. As the, as the other game is my Arena Football Live. Complaint, that being a complaint, being the fact that you gotta pay 30 bucks for it, and it's even worse than the ESPN3 broadcasts. The ESPN3 broadcasts, which were free, provided you had a cable subscription and signed in, they would take the video billboard footage, I'm sure you know what a video billboard is, if you ever go to the games, you have to like, you see the billboard in the middle, the middle of the stadium, or the side of the end zones, the big old thing, where it's like, like where you can see the live feed of what the heck's going on down the field. In case you got a bad seat or something, you can see that video billboard. That billboard. Well, the, what ESPN3 would do is take that video billboard footage and link it up with the local radio broadcast of the same game. Like here in Tampa, we got we have 620 radio, so you put the, so ESPN3 match up the 620 radio with the yeah with the video billboard, and there you go. Match it up perfectly fine. Although there were a couple instances when they actually at the wrong station. <laughs> uh, but so it was, but that was kind of funny. Now it's just no radio period. Like it's just a just that bill that billboard, no with little to no sound. And so they took one tiny little camera, like this phone camera, I just put it in the back of the stadium, and that was it. Like back of the stadium, little to no volume. Even when you turn turn your watching phone 
all the way up to the max volume, you all you hear is a couple was occasional chatter. And maybe the rep's getting a call here and there off the PA announcement. <laughs> but yeah, and you gotta pay 30 bucks for it. Waste of money in my eyes. And that's coming from an Arena League super fan. Like, I am a, I mean, look at this shirt. Look at this shirt. 20, it's, it's AFL 25 season shirt. They don't have one for 30, but if they did, I'm sure I'd probably get that. But yeah, look at that. Go. Ugh, Storm. But these some are good. Soul, I always say Soul 1, I thought it was... This is sort of a... And this next complaint's gonna make me look really young, because I am. I'm only 19. But throughout my entire life, I've never seen a football game. Even, like, a high school game on TV. Like a, like a TV game? that didn't have, like, a little, like, what the points, like, in the top corner or sort of somewhere on the screen, what two teams are playing, and what they, how many points they scored. I'm just not used to that. I don't care what sport it is. I can't watch a game, no matter what, unless it says, oh, hey, Tampa's got, hey, this team's got this many points, and that team's got that many points, or something like that. So, like, that should be being young, but I had no idea what was going on the whole game, and I thought Philadelphia was killing Baltimore. That's what I expected. Turns out, it was pretty back and forth. The Philadelphia won 61 to 53. Wait, 61? Yeah, 61 to 56, my bad. <laughs> I guess we'll move on to the next games now that my whining complaining's done. But we'll go on to the next week's games. We have the first game for next week. We'll feature the... Yeah, the first game for next week. We'll feature the... Actually, both games go on at the same time. First game, we'll feature the Philadelphia Stolhead hosting Cleveland on CBS Sports Network, and the other game on Monumental Sports Network, or Overpriced AFL Live, the one I'm actually going to live in the stands, I cannot wait, is next Saturday between the Washington Bell and Tampa Bay Storm. That's right. They're playing to the back-to-back -back weeks in different locations. I I'm sure, I know it's happened in the NFL, but never in the regular season. That was like a playoff thing, like one week. Oh, hey, week 17, you're playing, you play that same team, that same location? Welcome back in week 18. How about that? That being wild card round, week 18. But never in the Arena League. Oh yeah, I got Philly by a bunch because it's Philly. I don't. I still don't think Cleveland's gonna beat Philly. Although, nor do I think it'll be as close as the last encounter was for Cleveland. And the same thing for Tampa Bay and Washington. I give, I'll give it. I still say Tampa Bay, but if anything, I think Tampa Bay would stretch out the points a little bit more because now they're kind of getting ready. They know both teams know each other a little bit, but it's, but that demoralizing loss at the end of the game for the Valor, that fumble. If it doesn't, I doubt it'll motivate them because I don't think King Kikinos is a good motivator. Ron James is an actual good coach. I did not think he was last year, but boy, was I wrong. Um, and yeah, I, that's, I guess that's it. <laughs> so, and, ha and happy belated Mother's Day to all the moms, mummies, mums, mothers, mas, and, and madres out there uh, as a, on Mother's Day for yesterday. Anyways, okay, thanks, bye. I am Target to 9999 and Kurt Warner's Rainbow Ring on the draw play. And I will... See you next week.